Hi students, in the previous video we have seen about electrolysis and its principles and also applications. The first application electroplating is discussed in detail in the previous videos and now here we have the second application of electrolysis that is electrometallurgy. Keep watching. The most important step in the extraction of metals is the reduction of the metal oxide. Metals are obtained from earth in the form of ores. Metal ores are obtained from ground and then we will extract from them. The metal oxide is converted to metal by a process called reduction. The reduction of metal oxide carried out by electrolysis is known as electrometallurgy. So what is electrometallurgy? Electrometallurgy is the reduction of metal oxide carried out by the process of electrolysis. Right? Now highly electropositive metals need to be reduced by the process of electrolysis as they have high affinity for oxygen because other techniques do not work here they need to be electro reduced by electrolysis now let us understand the various metals and how their oxides are reduced now you see the activity series we have here potassium sodium calcium magnesium and aluminium these are highly reactive metals from potassium to aluminium they are highly reactive metals they are highly electro positive and they have very strong affinity for oxygen so they do not lose oxygen easily so to remove oxygen from these metals is a very difficult task these oxides cannot be reduced by reducing agents hence they are reduced by electrolysis otherwise known as electro metallurgy example aluminium oxide Al2O3 splits to Al3 plus ions and O minus 2 ions and the cathode we have, we have the reaction of aluminium ion changing to aluminium. This is gain of electrons that is a reduction reaction here and at anode the oxygen forming neutral oxygen. Okay, So this is an oxygen oxidation because it is losing electron. Okay, So this is the application of electrolysis on the reduction of metal oxide highly electropositive metals are reduced by electrolysis now metals below this zinc onwards they form stable oxide zinc to up to copper we can say these metals form stable oxide from zinc to copper now they do not decompose on heating they are stable they are reduced by heating with a suitable reducing agent example fe2o3 can be reduced by carbon monoxide heating with carbon monoxide will give you fe plus 3CO2 okay 3CO and copper oxide can be reduced by hydrogen you can pass hydrogen and heat and you get Cu plus H2O this can be reduced now zinc oxide can be reduced by coke coke is a form of carbon which act as a reducing agent so you have zinc and carbon monoxide so reducing agents can be used for reducing these metals whereas Metals, the highly electropositive metals, they cannot be reduced by reducing agents. So, electrometallurgy is required there. And then, there are metals which are less stable oxide, which are, for example, mercury and silver, they form less stable oxides. Just heat them, they will decompose. When heated, they decompose. So, reduction can be done by thermal decomposition. Example, mercury oxide on heating gives mercury and oxygen. Very easy to decompose them no uh, reducing agent required no electrolysis required now metals like platinum and gold are noble metals they are noble metals be because they don't react they occur as metal they don't form oxides or any other compounds they found as metal they do not form oxides hence reduction is not required only refining is required impurities need to be removed so students i think you understood what is electrometallurgy and what are the metals whose oxides need to be reduced electrolytically. So subscribe the channel and uh, you can like the channel, post your questions. Thank you.